I'll name the host. Name the host. Then I can pause the recording. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. I hope my phone doesn't ring unless somebody wants to give me a lot of money. And um, I actually have two offers on the house. One is full price with three and a half percent down. And the other is three and a half percent. And the other one is like 30,000 less with a lot of money down. And How can anybody put three and a half percent down? Well, you can because it's an FHA and they have good income. They don't have the cash. I have no idea. And I really want to take it, but they, you know, they came in seriously and, and, you know, I don't want to blow them off. It might be my only offer because, so now I went back to people. I'm a real and, estate agent. Well, well, I have one. I was a broker for 30 years, so I know, so I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, 30 years. So anyway, let's see. We'll see what happens. Okay. So today we're going to learn Samich. Let's just take a peek. We're going to finish this unit. We have to kind of go a little teeny faster, but not a ton faster. We're in unit seven. So we learned Tet, which is the other T, Tav and Tet last week. So just everyone here in this group was here last week, right? Yes. So that was on page 46. And we did the Shema and the Via Hafta. So we're going to practice those again in a minute. But let's just take a peek. And the Shema and the Via Hafta, we talked about um, where you find it and the cloths and in the, in the um, sits, you know, tefillin. And it's, uh, as I said, it's me, it's the only prayer that gives you instructions with what to do with it. Um, so it's kind of a cool thing when you even read it in English, it makes sense to you. Um, and today we're going to start with page 50. We'll come back and we're going to read the Kiddush again and we'll do the, the Shema again, but I just want to at least get the new letters in. So today we're going to learn Samech. Samech is an S, a regular S. It just happens to end the English word with a CH, but it doesn't matter. It's an S sound. Oh, there's Elizabeth. Hello. Welcome, welcome. It's on page it's 50. It's on page 50. Hello. So again, we're going to do the Kiddush. We're going to do the Shema and the Via Hapta, but I want to just go a teeny bit further. So we're going to start on page 50. And Samech, S-A-M-E-C-H, S-A-M-E-C-H, Samech, is an S sound. So there's two S's, there's two T's. There's a few letters I've told you that in Hebrew, you have two letters for the same exact sound. Why they use one or the other, we don't care. The only thing I want you to be mindful of, and you won't screw it up, I promise, is when you see a samech, I can't think of a word that, oh, there's my phone, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, who cares? Who knows? Um, they'll leave a message. The samech, if you look at it, is, um, it looks almost like a final mem. So what's the difference between the samic and the final mem? Do you can you see it? Yeah, it's a little a little loop on the top. And also it's it's a little rounder. That's the answer. Very good. It's rounder than here. So I'm going to do Oh god, of course I picked the marker that doesn't have a lot of ink in it. I'm doing a very baby version. They almost look, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Samech is rounded at the bottom. And actually an S is rounded at the bottom. I mean, that's a good enough hint, right? Mm -hmm. And the final mem, you're never going to see it. In other words, the final mem is only the last letter. So the question is, and I don't have the answer, are there any words that end in a Samech? I, I don't know. I guess as we're reading, we might find out, but I don't think there's a rule not to or two. But you can't be the final mem of, unless it's at the end. On that, on um, so that at least you're not going to confuse that. On number seven, line seven, it looks like this. Uh, oh, of course they do because they show you know they just want us to know it's an S sound. Right. I'm not sure it's a real word. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cosim. Uh, cos. Yeah, I'm doing an M too. Cosi. Um, I don't know if that's a real word. To be very honest with you. Okay. That would be helpful if I spoke Hebrew. Then I would know that for sure. But I apologize. So Samach is an S. So let's just look at line one. It's easy. Um, it's just 
si si se 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 sa sa so so su su se se, se. all right you know se. so se so su <clears throat> we're just doing line three i'm just doing the first part of it just because it's too easy to bother with any of you all right everybody see it it's just a regular s nothing special just it's shape is weird okay and so let's start with line two is any does anybody i'm just looking to see a regular mem in line four second word uh second grouping of words there's a mem there's no way that you'd confuse the mem and the sin uh, and the samach mm -hmm. and you know it's a regular mem because it's right there in the front part of a word um I don't see a final mem anywhere on this page. Otherwise, I'd show it to you with this font, but I don't see one. All right, but it's rounded, and an S is rounded also, so that's a good way for you to remember. It's on, on line eight. It says shalom. Oh, there we go. Yes, thank you. I was looking for one. Somebody. Okay, so look at the last word of line seven and the last word of line eight. Mm -hmm. What about eight. line five? What mm -hmm. Line Hi, seven? Gavin's here. Good, good, good. We're just doing page Isn't that in final M mem. Which so page are we doing? We're that just starting on page 50, and we're just trying to learn the new letter Samech, which is don't worry that it ends in a ch because we don't care. We're only using the sound of the letter. So it's a Samech S. And we have a Sin and a Samech. Both are S's, nothing special. They just both S's all the time. We're just looking at the font shape that the Samech resembles a final mem. So if you look at line seven and line eight, we haven't, we didn't start to really read yet, uh, Robin. So line seven, the last word, doesn't matter what it is, there's a Samech. And if you look at line eight, the last word, there's your final mem. Yep. Now the only thing I could tell you um, is that the Samech has a rounded bottom, just like the letter S does. So that's the best trick I can come up with at the moment. Okay, so, and then for some reason, I don't know why we're revisiting our chet. Now uh, we're gonna do this page, but I just wanna like do an overview. So the next big box is the chet. You all know chet and you know chet versus a hay because the hay has the hole in that line in the leg. Okay, so I'm not sure why they're revisiting it, Maybe we haven't seen it lately, depending on the text that we've been working on. So just to remind you that Sichet. And um, I don't know why we're revisiting it today, but we are. So it must have something to do with the song we're going to sing that has a bunch of chets in it. Oh, it does. Okay. Uh -huh. There's always a reason in this little book. Okay. So let's go back. And this, when we're... Yeah, let me just go back here. So unit seven, which we're finishing today, is we learned Tet and Samech. And those were our only new letters. And we do, we go, we're, when we're done with this page or the next page, we're going to go back and do the Shema and the Via Hafta, and we'll repractice the Kiddush because net, we're, there's only two more units that are not like prayers. And just to have you know, in unit eight, it's only the final tzadi. So it's a final shape for one letter. It's not around that often. And then there's a, a vowel combination in unit nine that's a little different. So we're almost, almost done with the alphabet. All right, let's take a look at line two on page 50. And again, um, I'll go backwards this time. Robin, why don't you read that? Line two on page 50. So, Sue, so, they're two different words. I have no idea why it's like right, Okay. Like, si, like si and Sigula? Si. Yes. There you go. Um, so, Sof, um, Sue, Nisuka. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Nisuka. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Line three is easy enough, Elizabeth. Is 
Oh, you have to unmute. <laughs> it's okay. What can yeah, happen? The dog, will ring, the dog will bark. Who cares? I'm you. Sagula. Uh, yes. Us? No. There. Oh, I'm so glad you. Um, said um, that. Um, yes. Yeah. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. So now uh, we finally found it. We didn't have to go to line eight, Harriet. There it is. Two next to each other. Just look at the shape. Right. right. Okay. Now you can see them in this font in this printing what they both look like next to each other. There you go. I'm glad you messed it up. Thank you. <laughs> Segula. Yeah, I'm um, Segula. Okay, everybody see that? I'm, um, the I in a silent, I'm um, Segula. Excellent, very good. I'm so glad you did that. No offense. <laughs> I am, I wanted someone to make that mistake. Janice. Sof. Yes. Sof. ma a se. So ma a se ma ha shab va to hila. Right. Now look at that line. It's like a lot of letters in that. And you did it. Fabulous. Nancy, unmute honey and start line um, five. Nasuha. Yes. Nasuha. Very good. Marosh. Uh, what's the first vowel under the mem? Me. Sorry. May May Rosh. Yes. Sorry. May Rosh. Mikadesh. 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 Dem. Mikadesh. Yeah. No, no, no. It's a mem. It's a final mem. Oh, Mikadesh. <laughs> Mikadem, Mikadem, Nisuka, Nisuka, Nisuka. Right, a little bit better on the the Samix vowel. Right, Nisuka. Very good, very good, very good. Sheila, ready for six? Okay. Nisi. Yes. Manos. Um. Vahu. Vahu. Excuse me. For who? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nisi. Um. Who's on first? Umanos. Yeah. Lee. Okay. For who? Nisi. Umanos. Lee. Does this sound familiar? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 You're gonna. Have, most things are gonna sound familiar from now on, Susan. Line seven. Um. Hosi. Ma. Na, ma. Close, but no. You got the letters right. Your vowels aren't exactly right. Oh, me, na, not. Yes, there you go. Posey. Right. You had all your consonants. You just were putting the vowels in the little off, uh, off space there. Okay, Harriet, line eight. Suka. Ha, um, hapo race, hapo race. Yes. Uh, Suka, shalom. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna somehow or other go back to our final chet. Um, uh, I'm sorry, a chet, not a final chet. And mm -hmm. just remember, it's not a hey. If you look in these line nine in the middle, in the not the uh, not the ale word. I won't tell you what it is. Look at there is a hey, and there's the chet in one word. You see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't get tripped up. The hey has the hole on its leg. Okay, so Elizabeth, want to try line nine? Sure. The D ball. Or to yes. the deep yes. or the deep or um echad echad yes echad the deep echad el ham yo chad no no el ham ham yo 
No. First of all, I'm not sure I even how to say it. I'm trying to figure it out myself, but that vowel next to the yud is a oo. So yeah. it's either ham. Oh, ooh, right. Ooh, had, or, and I, I, you know what? I'm going to circle it because I, unless I read it in the context of what the word is, that's a fair, like, I don't know where that where it goes. Ham yachad. Ham. Yachad. Ush. Mo. Echad. Right. Ush. Mo. Echad. Okay. Line, where am I? I've lost track. Robin. Yeah. Is it on mute? Um. I'm going to circle that myself. Hold on. I'm going to find, oh, of course, I picked the pen that doesn't write. Let me come back to that one and figure it out. Okay. Namaha Shava. Dehila. Yes. Venish. Venish. Mecha. What's the third letter? Oh, Venis Mecha. Right. Um, Vinagila. Vinagila. Okay. Fabulous. Fabulous. All right, Janice. Uh, Dash. Sheer Hadash. Mm -hmm. Sheer Hadash. Ode. That's not a T. Uh, o, oat. It's a oh. it, it's a race. It's a rounded race. Sometimes it's a little hard to see it. It's o or or it's not a dollar. Or, right? or hadash. Or hadash. 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 Right. Okay. And sometimes when you see all these. You, you actually think it's an English letter for a moment and you put the T in saying, wait a minute, it looks like a T. No, 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 it's Hebrew. So yeah, that's a race. Okay, and I haven't seen it. Oh, this first, on line 11, the second letter is there's your Dalid. And then the last word on that line, or the next word actually, there's your race. Don't forget, the Dalit has a little dent in it and the race is rounded, okay? All right, who are we up to? Janice, is it your turn? I've lost track. I just read. Oh, you did just read, Nancy. Yif Ra. Oh, line 12, got it. 12, right? Yeah, Yif yeah. Yif Ra. Yif Ra. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the last, what's the last letter? Yif Ra. Yif Ra. Yif. Right. Correct. Yeah. Yif Ra. Yes. Um, Sadiq. Katamar Yifra. Yifra. Very yes. <laughs> Very good. You caught that final chet. Well, it's not a final, but it's a chet at the end. And there are a lot of words that have it, so we have to know it. Sheila. Chai. Okay. Chai. Chai. Now I'm going to say Chai Adonoi or no, no. Chai Chaim. Chaim. Just hayim, because I'm saying, okay. La hayim. Not uh, la, it's not la. It's like yeah. an apostrophe, lit, like lit. La hayim. La hayim. Isn't it la hayim? Well, I don't oh, know. La hayim. Okay. Hayim. Hayyenu. Sha'e. Kayyanu. Do it again. Okay. Oh, okay. What is it? When you have, oh, I forgot how I teach you this. When you have the Shiva with a vowel, it shortens the vowel. How do I explain that? It shortens it. Um, I, I, I don't know how to teach that. I just know well, it shortens is a word. Yeah, no, it is. It's, it is. I just know it shortens it, but I can't in this example give you what it would have been if it wasn't shortened. Yeah, it's supposed to shorten the vowel, but I don't know how that what that means in English. 
Uh -oh. Could you re-say that last word, please? Yeah, if I could, I would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hayim. No, on line, line 13. Shehecha Yanu. It's not a it's not a he. No, it's not. Now wait a minute, because I know that the at the next hold on, because I, I know where it is. Because if I, go, if I skip two pages, I'm gonna get to the Shakiato. Um, oh no, that's Lachado J. Next next month, next week. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the Shakiano in a minute right now. Hold on one second. Okay, what word am I looking for? I'm trying to find Well, it's not a he. No. Yanu. I don't know. It could just be not a word. Okay. That's what's confusing me. I'm looking for a real word in there. Right. I don't know if it's a real word, which is why okay. we're struggling. So I'm trying to find it in the prayers. No, 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 recurrent phrases. I think it's in the Kaddish, and then the Kaddish is here, which is next week. We can do the home one as Kaddish. Oh, so exciting. All right. I don't know if it's a real word, so let's not struggle okay. on it because okay. let's hope it, let's hope it's not. I have it circled, so <laughs> I will find out. So line four, 14. Well, there it is again. So yeah. <laughs> you know what? Then it, I don't know why that is. I have to worry about the spelling of it. All right, let's. Let's do line four, the, the third, fourth, and fifth, the, not the first word, and then we'll figure it out. Go ahead, Harriet. Uh, uh, 14? Yeah, 14, not the first word. We're okay. Talking. The key. I don't know how to go right that ring. That's okay. Now here's no how to say it. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me go there now. Vicky Manu, Vicky Yanu, Basman Hazer. So just look at the second word, Sheila. You know that that Shiva in the Yud has to be its own because the Kuf has a, a vowel, the Mem has a vowel. Uh -huh. So the Yud now gets. Vicky Yamanu. Vicky Yamanu. And you know it. So we just have to figure out why the first one is getting us stuck. It's, I don't know why that vowel is an eh. We know it is an e vowel when we say it. So I don't know why that is. I wrote it down. I'm going to check. I'm going to check. I have my own homework now. Okay. Are you sure we just don't say it wrong? Right, yeah, that's wondering what I'm wondering. Now. I'm wondering when I get to the prayers, I'll know it and I get stuck. So let's take a look at line page 52. All right, a hundred tombs, 52. Okay, Lechad Dodi. Lechad Dodi, there are a hundred tunes. So I'm going to take a vote here. Um, Shamo Vizaho Bidiborechad, Hishmianu, that one, or um, or, um, which ones you want? Or, here, I'll do the Chada part, the, the chorus part. Mm -hmm. Do you want that? Or do you want, um, yes. anybody have a preference? Last. Okay. The last one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay. 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 The old fashioned way. Okay. Oh, God bless you. Okay. Everybody see that? Yes. I know you know it, but I want you to read it. All right. Anybody think they need practice reading that line? 
Robin, are you good on that? I could always practice. Okay, go ahead. Uh, le ka do di, le ka re te, nope. le ka rate, le ka rate, uh, the la. Did it one minute. Leak rot. Leak rot. You see, excuse me, Sheila, this is when you know the word because you've heard it, even though when you're reading it, you say it could be both ways. And my answer would be listen to the cantor or the rabbi. Here's your perfect example because mm -hmm. it could be le ke rate. And then we know that's not right mm -hmm. because we know it's lechado di lekrat kala. Okay, what's a kala? Uh, bride. A bride, welcoming the bride. Okay, do it again, Robin. I'm up to lechado di lekrat kala. Continue, Robin. All no. right. Um, Pene. Um, Shabbat, Nikab, Nikabla, Nikabila, Nikabila. Right. Okay. So it's welcoming the Sabbath bride. When you sing this, if you have a mourner, you should know this though. I, I, not a judgment, it's just saying if you didn't know it. If when you do the preliminary songs, a mourner wouldn't come into the congregation till the last verse of this song. And then we greet them in. So I don't know if you've ever seen that and wondered, but if you haven't, I don't know how, how many dead people you have marching, you know, on Shiva week. If they come to Shul, then they would be greeted, but they don't come in till the last verse. And then they're welcomed in to the congregation because the singing part is over. Then it's the praying part. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do the first part. Um, Susan. The, you mean the first line again? Nah, unless you feel like you need it. No. Okay. Uh, uh, or or or. Okay, when the Shiva is the first letter at the beginning, it's always by itself. It's a syllable. So you do it by itself. Vitsa. Okay, Vitsa. Okay. Or uh, a D, uh, or the D bor, or or the D bor. Look at the race and the Dalit's three letters before it. See them? Bid D bor. Okay, yeah, B D bor, A Ted. Close, but not cigar. Ot. Okay, now, first of all, the Aleph is silent. What's the vowel? Yeah. yeah. Good. What's the next letter? T. No. T the tent, the Tav would have had a toe. This doesn't, it's a chet. The chet. Tav would have had a toe. The Tav oh, would look okay. the same way, but it has a toe. This doesn't have a toe. E. No. E. 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 What's the last letter? Uh, looks like a, a dollar to me. Yes, but... that's right. Okay. Echet. Echad. Echad. E. It's an A vowel. Echad. Take a look at it. Okay. Echad. So the Aleph is silent, everyone. We'll do it for everybody. The vowel is an E. It's a Chet with an A. And there's a final Dalad. The Dalad doesn't have a vowel, so you know it goes with the letter before it. It's two syllables. Echad. See it? Mm -hmm. Everybody else sees it? Sheila, you got that? Mm -hmm. You got that, honey? Echad. Very good. Okay, Harriet? Okay. Ish Miyanu. Yes. El Hamuchad. Yes. Yes. There you go. Okay, Janice? Wait, did you say the last word again on that? I'm sorry, which word? The last word. Sure. Ham. 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 You. Okay. okay. I didn't hear you before. Okay. Ham. You. Had. Okay. Right. okay. Janice. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Echad. Ushmo. Echad. Good. 
There we go. Almost finished with the first verse. Yay. All right. Who are we up to? Nancy? I lost, I totally lost track. The shame. Yes. Utif Eret Velit Hila. Excellent. Shamor Vizahor Bedibor Echad. Hishmi Anu El Ham Yuchad Adonai Echad Ushimo Echad Lishem Ulti Feret Vavalit Hila. And then we just do Lechad Dodi Lekrat Kala Pene Shabbat Nika. Bella, let's all sing the first verse. Shamor, is that Lord? He knew you had. I don't know. Echad l'shem u'tif eret v'alit hila l'echad doti l'ekrat kala pene shabbat nekab bila. Let's do it at first first again. Who wants to do the whole thing? Uh, Elizabeth can't wait. You can't. What's the difference? There's no one else on this phone call. I'll erase it and we're done. <laughs> oh, that's okay. All right. So really I'm starting at the second line. Go ahead. Yes. If you want to sing it, you can. It's a little easier because then you know half of it anyway. But if you want to take the challenge, say it. <laughs> Shamor. 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 Yeah, good. Is that core? Uh, D bore. The D bore. The D Okay, keep going. Uh, Hish, me, Yanu. Anu, Anu. I in a silent. Hish, me, Anu. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, you had. Yes. Adonai, Echad, Ush, Mo. That was an ooh, not a vo. Hey, yeah. no, you're good. Ush, Mo. Echad, La, Shame, U, Chav. Ool. Ool is right. Ool. Teef. Teef. Oh, teef. Okay. Right. Teef. Eret. Good. Uh, vali. Valit. He. La. Good. Excellent. And just for the whoever got it before, there's your top right there with his little toe. You see it? It's that last word, third letter. There's your tough. And then if you go to the first, uh, there's the chet without the toe. So there's the, like a, three lines above them. Okay. And if you do, well, I'm not going to confuse you. Don't do it that fast. Okay. That's the other tune that a lot of shoals use. And then they do the lecha, lecha, doti, doti. So whatever one, if someone's listening to this and you want to do it both ways, we could do it both ways. So let's continue. We have a little, yeah, we have time. What time is it? All right. 
we're not, we might not sing this whole thing because I want to do the kiddish. Um, want to do one more stanza and then we're going to go practice the um, Shema and the Kiddush today. Also, I want to do all three of those. Let's do one more verse of this and then you can practice. And if you go Friday night or just, you know what you can do? You can go on YouTube, Lachado D, and sing along with the cantor whenever you find a YouTube about it and just keep going over it. So let's do the second verse. Leak rot. Ooh. Oh, there's my broker. Hold on. I'm so sorry. Hi, one second. I'm teaching my class. Shalom, everybody. Okay. Leak rot Shabbat. Lehu. The, the, well, you know what, Harry, you do it. I'll do it at the end. I'll, I'll clean it up at the end. But you want me to read it? Yeah, sure. You read the second verse. Lekra Shabbat Lehu Benoch Bene Lecha. No. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, it's okay. It goes with the first. Benelcha. Ki, he, mekor, habracha. Habracha, good. Me rosh, me rosh, me kedet, me kedem. Nesucha. Nesucha. Go ahead. Sof ma ase bim bamach shaba tehi la. Right. Now, the fourth line when you sing this, no matter how good you are, it's like a you know, those are the hard lines. The rest of it all hits the beat. When you get to the fourth line, they shove in like extra six syllables and it's like the blah, 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 blah. But there it is. Who else wants to try the whole thing? Nancy, you want to try the whole verse? Sure. Likrat Shabbat Lehu Bene Ben. What you have to do this? Benelcha. Yeah, Benelcha. Ki he me me mekor me yeah mekor ha ha bracha. Me rosh, me me kadesh, nish ne. It's not. Hold on. What did you just make a mistake? With the the one starting with a mem or the next one? One the second word starting with a mem. What's the last letter? Me. Oh. 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 Me dem. Me kedem. Me kedem. Okay, me kedem nesucha nesucha right yeah nesucha sof ma ase go ahead oh I'm keep going here oh yeah finishing the whole verse okay so maybe the first two words right be ma ha shavat na ah ah no tab hey silent Oh, Maha Shava. Yes, yes. Hey, it's silent and it ends a word with no vowel, guys. Tehila. Tehila. Good. Everybody else want to try it? Who else is brave enough? Robin, you up, you up to this challenge? Sure, I'll give it a try. Um, okay. Likrat Shabbat Lihu um Vinel Ha Good Um Kihi Mikro Um Habracha Um Merosh Um Mikedem Um Nesucha Nisucha. Um, Nisucha. Sof. Maase. Good. Um, Bama ha shav, shava. 
um, tequila. Good. Okay, we're gonna stop this only because I don't wanna lose you. Okay, we're gonna continue. Everyone practice this. Do the four verses here. Am I sure we do them all? Um, try to at least do these four and whatever tune. I think I sang both ways when I started the first. So you can follow that tune if you don't know it, you should know it. Um, and then we change the tune. I think the rule is three different tunes in the whole thing. Some congregations don't do the whole thing. But of course, the last verse, you know, you stand up, you face the door and you bow because you're welcoming in the mourners. If if there are or the Shabbos bride, um, if she shows up, it's like Elijah. I don't know. These people just don't show up. There we go. Um, OK, let's go backwards. I want to do two things with you. And I've got to find them. Kiddush and the Via and the Shema. So I have my cheat sheet on the Kiddush. So somebody tell me what page it's on in your books and your two members. This is unit 10 and 11. Lakado G is this. The the eight. What verse? What are we in here? Uh, seven. Uh, six. Page. six. Was it's it in six? 45. Yeah, the regular Friday night oh, Kiddish. Try page 45, I think. It is. Thank you so much. Okay. Page 45. This is a review. We're going to do the Kiddush ones and then the Shema and the Via Hafta. Got to practice them. Practice, practice, practice. And then, so you'll practice these and then you're going to try to at least do the four verses of the Via Hafta. I mean, of the um, of Lachado D. And if nothing else, the first two verses with proficiency. Okay, no wine in the group. Nobody drinks in this group. Okay. Mm. Right, I don't know. Uh, Ruch, who's doing this? We're doing this together. We'll do it together one time slowly. Yeah. Gotta go slowly for those that are, need a little extra um, moment to catch the word. Baruch drinking if you drink you don't have in my show you don't have to say it if you're the drinker everybody else says amen so you have to practice this because 
next Friday night and you're at home, you might want to do the kiddish and you can impress your family by saying it all by yourselves. Okay, let's do. Um, There is our. I just want to ask you a question. You, sure. If uh, we say kiddish, kiddish, but if you read it, it's kiddush. It's true. And, you know, it blows me away because I get well, so confused. Like, is this the kiddish? Because we know? use the Yiddish for kiddish versus kiddush. It's the same way. It's like Shabbos and Shabbat and all the others. Okay. And um, um, the kiddush um, is. It's like the siddur, and we call it the yeah, siddur. siddur. You know, right. you know, the Yiddish goes into the Hanukkah. Right. Han, well, Hanukkah. Han, yeah. Well, um, yeah, like okay. coat and circus. Okay. You know, so, yeah. yeah right. But the root of the Kiddush and Kaddish and Kuda and Kadusha is what? What's the root mean? Holy. The, the K, the, um, the Dalit, the Shin, um, the root of the word, the four letters, the Kuf, the Radala, the Ray, uh, the shin is the, the root of it is holy, so you hear that in uh, kadosh kadosh kadosh. I don't know it's about when you bounce you know, um, the, all of that. The the root is holy. All right, now who's going to find the shema for me? Oh my gosh. Okay, the shema is on page forty seven. Thank you. I have too many. I've divided them up by units, so they're out of order, and I have them pinned together, never to be found again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The Shema and the Via Hafta. So we're going to, you could actually do 48 as well, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Can you or can't you? Right. Next time we're 49 too. Oh, here it is. Yes, yes, yes. The next one. Yeah, go to the big box. Okay. What page? I don't know. It doesn't have a page on it. Uh, 49. Page 49. That's correct. Thank you. 49. It doesn't have a page number in the top right, but it's the big box of the Shema. The one between 48 and 50, you'll find. Okay, we'll do this and then we can say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, we, could say, we haven't sung Shalom Alechem lately. Oh, it's like baby stuff, right? The, easy. <laughs> okay. Shema Yisrael Adonai. Unknown caller. It's okay. It's all right. We're all busy. We're all doing it. It's fine. Janice, I love you. Okay. And then this we quietly say, but we are going to learn it. Baruch, shame, kavod, malchuto, leolam, vahed. We're we'll formal, say it loudly. We only say it loudly for Yanta. Okay. The eight Adonai Asher, why am I the only one singing? Leot al yadecha vahayu letota fot. That's how you say the next word. Letota fot. Leot 
Tartam. Tartam. Al Mizu's note. All right. Practice. I'm, I'm every day just do one of them because by the end of the week, you've done at least three times each one. The Shema and the Viahafta, the Kiddush, Kiddush, and the first two verses of Lachado Di, each tune. Um, I could teach you many, many, many tunes, but those are the two mostlies. Um, those are the two. Le chad le le chad do di le krad kala or le chad le chad do di do di. Either one. What the first, the older way is slower. So if you're trying to learn it, it's not so bad to do it the slower way. All right. So we're gonna end with just Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. You could do this. I know you can. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. I can't sing that high. <laughs> Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Fabulous ladies. Thank you for hanging in every week. God bless you. Have a wonderful Shabbat. Let me close this off.